to get this piece of wood, you need to show me your plans and a pencil. The plans because I want to see that your name is on it. On my desk, there's a sample of what you want to do, but you want to write your name. Doesn't matter which side. Then you want to number the ends. These are the ends. <laughs> then the sides. Those numbers are important. On the wall where we're going to go, it's going to tell you what <coughs> sides or what edges you're going to route and what router you're going to use. So gather around the first router, router number one. So a reminder of how you use the router table for the checkerboard. This time you're just going to do sides, edges one and two. You're going to push it through from one side to the other. When you do this step, you want to make sure that you can see the numbers. If you can't see the numbers, then you don't know what edges you're going to route first. So have the number side up. When you're done, there's going to be chips. You're not going to worry about those chips. If you do it in the order that you're supposed to on that side, you're not going to have chips. This time, you're going to do the cut one and two first, then cut three and four. Don't cut three and four before one and two. When you are done, you want the corners to be flat. If you have a bump like this, you're going to run that edge through again. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. That's the side I'm going to run through again. So the bump was that side, 